don't know, to be made fun of by the torch. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> well, thank you very, very much. It, it's great to see this distinguished panel here, and I uh, really uh, appreciate the chance to stop by. I'm only uh, able to be here for a few minutes, but I appreciate what you are doing. Um, it would be uh, an understatement to suggest that we live in interesting times. Um, it is um, one of the most um, interesting times I've ever seen, uh, not only with what we are doing uh, on the budget, but uh, in terms of what's happening in the area of international affairs. Uh, I would hope that it would just be obvious to people that it's no longer possible for us to ignore the fact that the Iranian nuclear program poses a threat of an arms race in the Middle East which threatens to destabilize the entire region. I would hope that people would understand how important uh, what happens in Iran um, is to uh, the United States uh, as well as to uh, the state of, of uh, the world. Um, some of us were here long ago enough to be here when uh, President Reagan was here. Some of us were uh, here long ago enough to uh, understand uh, what it means to uh, say what's really happening in the world, to tell the truth. I remember when uh, Ronald Reagan uh, called the Soviet Union the evil empire, and he was criticized for that. Uh, I think Time Magazine said he was positively primitive in his comments, and who would dare say that, and why would you say that, and wouldn't that uh, inflame the Soviet Union? And then, of course, when you hear from people like Nathan Sharansky, who talks about the fact that those who were most impacted uh, by that, that is, those who were in the um, gulags, uh, cheered when they heard the words of a president telling the truth. And so um, as uh, non-diplomatic as it may be, it is my idea that maybe we ought to tell the truth from time to time. And that's why I have joined with my uh, colleagues in co-sponsoring House Res 60, the unwillingness of the State Department to even consider a reevaluation of the status of such an important uh, element of the Iranian uh, resistance is both short-sighted and detrimental uh, to our interests. Interestingly enough, at the end of last year, my office had set up a uh, classified briefing with the State Department and Department of Defense on this very subject. And um, DOD was up, coming up to my office and suddenly the State Department canceled the meeting. Uh, so they aren't even willing to talk to a member of Congress who has a different point of view and who believes that maybe we ought to reassess, as was suggested, not for political reasons, but for factual and real-life reasons. Furthermore, that uh, human rights tragedy uh, at Camp uh, Ashraf is just another demonstration of the willingness of um, the Iranian regime to flex its muscle beyond its borders. So I'm proud of the fact that you were able to hear from uh, Congressman Poe and the fact that the Foreign Affairs Committee has adopted the language in the Foreign Relations Authorization Bill for this uh, coming fiscal year offered by him. This statement of policy is an important statement for those of us who believe that, once again, that the truth must be known and that we must uh, act upon it. Now, let me just uh, congratulate those of you who have worked so hard um, to support the Iranian dissident uh, movement. In the wake of what was known as the Green uh, Revolution, a missed opportunity, I think we would all agree, uh, by the United States to stand up and to uh, um, encourage those who would tell the truth. Um, it is important for us to continue to try and give sustenance to those who would uh, fight against uh, that regime. Uh, those of us in Congress uh, have a lot of things on our plate. Oftentimes, uh, it is easy to uh, overlook some of the more important issues. Uh, if, if it were not for those of you in this room and others like you allied with you who constantly bring forward this issue before members of Congress in this administration, uh, the fight might be lost. I have confidence the fight will not be lost because I have confidence that you will not flag in your uh, efforts to do what you think is right, to tell the truth, and to get um, this country recognizing what that truth is and acting upon it. I thank you very much for the chance to appear before you. I really do thank you for the work that you are doing. Um, I can just say whenever I'm home in my district, I'm always pleased to have my friends come and see me, whether I invite them to come and see me or not. Um, it doesn't matter whether I am in the uh, 
in the foothills of the gold country in California as I was just two days ago, or whether I'm here in the district, uh, they are omnipresent. Uh, they don't let me forget about this issue, and that's not a criticism, that's a fact. I thank you for it, I thank them for it, and um, God bless you, uh, God bless this country, and God bless what you're trying to do. Thank you very, very much. <laughs>